Well, 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 oh, we're back, and by we, I mean I, yes, you heard it the first time, but this is the second time, because this is game two of the MLG Dallas Finals between, 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 ha, between, yeah, I can't even make fun of myself properly, between Dignitas's Naniwa and Roots Kiwi Kaki, um, Sheth, FXO Sheth, you guys might know him, that really awesome dude, uh, on that stream, always the kindest, always the nicest, but when he says Kiwi Kiki, <sighs> It just kills me. Nice guy. Can't say Kiwi Kaki. Uh, moving forward, um, this is brought to you by Delusive Gaming. Go check them out, delusivegaming.co.uk. Great bunch of guys. They're like all. They're like all a bunch of chefs. Just really nice, cool dudes. All great players. Uh, so go check them out. Anyway, we're concentrating now here, the present. That's what we want. We've got uh, Kiwi Kaki taking the red color once again. Uh, right here on Metalopolis on the sort of 9 o'clock position. I guess it's exactly the 9 o'clock position if you really want to get anal about it. Damn you all. And uh, we've got Naniwa down here at the sort of 6 o'clock. Well, it's like 10 past 6 position there. Um, as usual, as you can tell, right up here in the production tab that everything's pretty much uh, the same because, uh, no, there's no cheesing going on here. There's no uh, proxy pylons, no proxy stuff going on here. God, I really dislike cheese. But uh, but anyway, moving forward once again, uh, we see that they're they're pretty much just uh, identical right here in the production tab, and uh, that's that's the hallmarks of watching two very good players play against each other in a mirror match. It makes a lot of sense. Pylon and the Cybercore. I imagine it'll be the same thing. Oh, surprise, surprise. And that's right, if any of you tuned in to the second game for some reason without watching the first one or without watching any other games whatsoever from Copper and Diamonds, guess what? I'm Copper, and Diamonds is normally sitting here salting the hell out of me. Um, but unfortunately, he has better things to do than sit around watching games all day. I don't, though. But, uh, but that's just what you get. Unfortunately, uh, Naniwa has decided uh, he's going to try a little bit of cheese. He decided to pop it right over here. Now that's interesting because normally you'd want to pop it right up in these in these smoky clouds here. But you know what happens is that oftentimes people send their probe right in here and then they send him back out. So his best chance at not getting his pylon spotted is to put it right there. That's pretty clever. Once again, another sign of somebody who knows exactly what he's doing. And guess what? I would not do that because I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time. Um, saving up quite a bit of minerals. Oh, never mind. You just dropped two uh, two gateways at exactly the same time. So uh, no expands here. Definitely going for that four gate because guess what? There's four gates. <gasps> we'll just see the timing on that and a four gate coming here too. Probably the safest way to go about it. I didn't mention in the last game, but um, a good a good counter to the four gate is this uh, one build that. Day 9 did, where you get a very quick, very early robotics facility and uh, like an immediate uh, immortal, like faster than you can even contemplate. Um, but you know, that's got no bearing on this current game, or the last one, or probably any subsequent ones either. Uh, so go check it out. It's interesting, since we're watching two Protoss guys do four gates against each other, uh, you might just be interested in that. Just like the game before, though, I must confess, Kiwi Kaki's just a little bit faster getting that 4-gate out. I mean, the he gets it at about 540. That's pretty amazing. Um, is he going to drop this force field here, maybe cut them off? Yeah, didn't cut any, anybody off, but uh, but a good drop on the force field there. Probably going to pump out another sentry or two just to make sure that that uh, ramp can be, can be choked off. Uh, no, he's decided to go for Zealous. He says, just bring it on, I don't care. Your Kung Fu ain't stronger than mine. Uh, Naniwa thinking, okay, I'll send a Zealot up, just see what's going on. I mean, he kind of let me up a bit easy there. Is that Zealot going to get popped? Doesn't look like it. He's keeping him clumped up. And here comes a bit of an engagement, a little attack there. Those Zealots going out, those meat shields. Um, not as many stalkers for uh, Kiwi Kaki here, but those Zealots are going to cause a, a lot of problems for any for any uh, over-eager stalkers. Over-Zealous, get it? Zealous, Zealot? Haha. Uh, anyway, that's... Uh, that's I just don't worry I won't quit my day job. Um, just trying to make a joke there. It didn't work. Okay, very good. Um, I you know what I should get I should get one of those laugh buttons. Okay, well there's there's more of an engagement here. Really fighting at the ramp there. Those zealots 
being great. Meat Shields doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Soak up that damage. Uh, Naniwa, in the meantime, is actually warping things up on the high ground. Maybe not a great idea, because basically those two Zells were a complete waste. And uh, Kiwi Kaki trying to get rid of that pylon wisely, and off it goes. Hopefully he knows that that one is there, because he would have seen some people coming out from the side here. Uh, people? Nah, probably units. War units. Attack units. Not people so much. People would have been like, hey, what's up? What's going on? You want to have a beer? I know. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, this guy's used up all his material and all the other 60 videos they plopped up. Well, yeah, that's true, unfortunately. I, uh, I'm just not a funny guy. I mean, really, Diamond's the funny guy. Diamond being John Becker. If you see him on the ladder, tell him I say hi. Uh, he's pretty badass, and he'll, um, he'll beat you up. It's good. It's my boy. Uh, now we can see that uh, Nani was a little bit supply blocked there. He must have thought, hmm, those pylons will last forever. But uh, he doesn't have any pylons coming up. He has decided to go ahead and get a robo facility. Oh, never mind. He did get the pylons coming up. Yep, never mind. That's why I'm copper and uh, the other guy's diamond. Uh, he's decided to get a robo facility wisely because he probably wants to get an observer out there to see what uh, Kiwi Kaki's next move is. Uh, sorry about that. That probably caused like epileptic fits in anybody who's looking right then. Um, but uh, yeah. He'll get a. He'll probably get an observer, but since it's rallied over here, he's probably just going to go ahead and get an immortal uh, or two or five. Uh, pretty good idea, um, especially now that Kiwi Kaki's going blink. I I do not believe Naniwa knows that, uh, unless of course he called in the psychic hotline and asked. But uh, it's probably against the rules at the MLG. Um, so yeah, so far, so good. We've got. One base Protoss against one base Protoss, because there's one thing you don't do in a Protoss-Protoss matchup. You just don't expand. Unless you know that the other guy's expanding at that precise moment. Then you can go ahead and try. But besides that, you just run off one base and hope for the best. Uh, Kiwi Kaki's got a little probe down here. He's like, oh, you know, don't worry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop a pylon. i got this one over here, but I'll drop one down here now so I can reinforce faster. And here comes a, here comes a bunch of units. And these Blink Stalkers, they're... They're going to make a difference right here. No, it looks like uh, Naniwa's actually going for Colossi. He probably, probably wishes he'd gone for some Immortals right now. But that's alright, that's alright. There's no problem. Kiwi Kaki's like, don't worry, don't worry, baby. I can wait this out. There's an Immortal. Wow. Am I just, like, reading things completely wrong on the screen or something? Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. Probably mostly gentlemen, though, because this is kind of a nerdy endeavor. Oh, wow, great blink, great blink, I love this. I think I think that uh, Kiwi Kaki's going to do a poop ton of damage right here, if not take the game entirely. Um, my god, that, oh yeah, the blink mic was pretty good. Doesn't have to be that great, though, admittedly, because uh, Kiwi Kaki just has the greater numbers. Unfortunately, Naniwa decided to, to get the Robo Facility and perhaps waste some minerals on the Robo Bay that he could really have used... Um, to get more units to fight off this impending attack, and uh, there's a GG. Um, I'll just go ahead and say that that was basically uh, what happened in the last game, except in reverse. This time, uh, Kiwi Kaki got the greater numbers, the slightly better economy, and uh, just got the drop on Naniwa. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apologize. My jokes this time were not that great, and I kind of pulled a few blanks. I blame it on the lack of coffee today, because they don't have my favorite um, caramel-flavored Nespresso uh, in stock. And um, don't worry, I'm going to go get one now and blast out another one. We're going on to Game 3, because this is hot.